YouTube, what is up? How is everybody doing today? I hope, yeah, days are going good and your lives are going even better than that. We are gonna be jumping into the band known as Dim Lim with a song called Show Show. I think that's how you pronounce it. I have no idea. I could have completely mispronounced that completely, most likely, knowing me, man. But either way, this is. The last Patreon request I have for the month. And yeah, man, it's going to be interesting. Visual K to end the Patreon request. It's just going to be cool, man. If you guys would like to request things for me to do, man, there's like a link down below for my Patreon. Like, there's a bunch of tiers, man, from very little to a lot, depending on how much you would like to support me. If you would like to support me, should I say. But either way, let's go, man. That's it. Ooh, I love the electronic opening. This is like 90s dance music. You know, like the European thing. Wow, man. I love how Dim Lim are just so cool with what they're doing, man. It's been a while since I've had them, to be fair with you, but... The baseline is gorgeous, man. That's a sexy baseline right there. That lowering is gorgeous on the vocals too. Female and male. Was waiting for it. Was waiting for it to drop a little bit. Dimly my heavy son. I know that for sure. That low man, that's good. That <laughs> Look, I love it, man. Ooh, damn that chorus, man. That just came flying out of nowhere, mate. I know that's the typical case of official K and stuff, man, but damn, man, that was so cool. I absolutely adore that. Okay, let's go back a little bit on that. So we can get that jump into the chorus once again, man. But let's see where we happen to be going with the song, man. So, inside of a birdcage, a quietly pulsating boy filled in madness. When the wind chime shakes, pure thoughts stay in his madness deep red. So, as in he's mad, he's completely insane, completely crazy. But the moment that that's the wind chime shakes, like the pure thoughts. So the red is like making his madness not turn mad, but turning sane. If you know what I mean, but by not having to look back on a mistake past at all, in the name of a heart, it was out of order from that day. My reason collapsed, it was broken. I promised the heart that I must never, ever trust a human being. It was broken from that day. My existence, it was out of order. Like, it's almost like, it's almost like you're talking like a machine, like you're not even human, that, or that you feel so detached from being human that you don't even trust other people anymore, which honestly, I can kind of relate to you, man, because a lot of, there's a lot of bad humans out there, in my opinion. But still, man, let's keep going. Let's keep going, though, man. Boy, man, that jump is amazing, mate. Boy, the guitar tone is cool, too, man. The little sweeps, man. Gotta love it. I love how with every drop we get a bit heavier. We started very electronic, then we went into 
a few cleans and into some darkness, back into brightness, now into, into more dark. Absolutely crazy. I was waiting for it, man, it hadn't started yet. This was the prelude into the actual solo. I love when guitarists do it, man, you know when they put the actual theme of the chorus into the solo. It's one of my favourite things about guitar solos, man. Makes me happy. It has a bit, a little bit of a happy tone in it, man, like, when they do that. And obviously a sexy bass line to go with it, because why the hell not? I'm so pausing it right there. That's like the worst place for me to pause because I know it's about to drop, basically. But yeah, man, okay, let's pause it right there. Let's like, we're gonna let that build back up again, man, because why not, man? Let's just finish this, like, lyrically, so. Even those race memories don't matter anymore. Like, the memories are gone, man. You don't even know what you used to know anymore, man. It's all just gone. Without the prayers reaching, reaching him. He's drowning in black. I've come this far. Even while saying this to himself, as he acts like he doesn't know. He is gazing into the end, he's like he's gazing into the end of his life, like his memories aren't there anymore. Is his body even there anymore? Is he even really on this plane of existence anymore? Is it all just going away? Even while I'm aware, I will be covered by the dusk. The only thing I can do is leave myself to these violent emotions. For this foolish me, the lukewarm wind invites death, a monochrome world into my detached scene. Like, it's almost like, yeah, this, he, his whole world is, is coming out of existence, like he's fading from this planet, from this existence, from this, um, world play, whatever you want to call it, man, just, like, fading away, and, like, detached scenery doesn't mean he's actually gone yet, it means he's contemplating it, like, he thinks that it's there, but is he actually, is he over-exaggerating, or, we'll find out, so, a pathetic figure waiting for autumn bound to a reason if he, even if he greets tomorrow he will be confined into a cage again yeah so he's not there yeah he wants to be he wants to be away from this but he can't quite get there he can't quite to that can't, he can't quite get to that point where he sees um where he can not live out towards his tomorrow because a lot of us can't a lot of us not me specifically but like a lot of us are very into our own deepness our own blackness our own darkness to get caught, like caught up and to get pushed into that place where we can never escape it where we feel like we won't see tomorrow even then when we do we all just start over and over and over again with his comfort and his sorrow being manipulated and nail drives into his shallow heart the boy noticed the sunset of august the nostalgic warmth that withered away in the cage yeah like the end of the season going back into the autumn and then into the winter from the brightness of the heat into the slow and coming darkness, as it were. A great metaphor to be fair. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's end this. I just wanted to hear this little bit again, and I love when they do this. It's so cool. I wonder if it's to go heavy or light. I hope it goes light. I hope it goes soaring high, man. That'd be so sick. But whichever way you want to go. Oh yeah, it's just gonna go soaring. Yeah, it's gonna build it up, man. This is gonna go crazy. Yep. I love this one, it's building back into the way it opens, just the way it's closer. Ooh, okay, maybe not, man. Maybe we're gonna end it at some heaviness? Why not? That works too.
Damn, man. That's a way to end a song right there, man. Damn. Um, let's go over there. That's actually a pretty cool picture. Damn, that was awesome. That was crazy. It had everything. Sweeping highs into low lows, into growled, into electronic, into everything else in the process, man. Such a great song. Really deep. Um, lyrically as well, like proper deep lyrics, which is always good, man. But most visual case is very much dark. It's very much about dark lyrics, about things that you can't quite um, understand completely unless you're going through the same situation with the depression and everything else. It's why I think it speaks to a lot of us who have gone through a lot of stuff in our lives who kind of need that a little bit, man. Need that darkness to fit our mood and then to have the switch of the darkness with the brightness and it's still dark in the same time. And you know, you get the idea, right? But either way. Amazing request, man. Such a great one, sir. So both of them have been absolutely amazing. Macho Man's one was awesome, and Mr. Penguin's one was awesome too, man. So, such great, great songs. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful day, evening, and night. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy, everybody. Have a wonderful day.